Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We want to go over finding limits from graphs. We just have a graph of a couple functions with some weird things going on in the graph. So for my first example, it asks, what's the limit as x approaches negative four from the left side, from the negative side, on my graph of my function here. Now you'll notice if we focus on x equals negative four, which is right here, that's a nice, smooth, well-behaved part of the function. So we're actually going to get the same limit from both sides, right? But as I approach this from the negative side, from the left side, which is what the first one asks, I'm approaching this point here, and that y value, if I go over to the axis here, I'm approaching a y value of negative one. So this first limit here is going to be negative one. If we look at the second one now approaching from the positive side, so we're just simply approaching this point from the other direction, we're still approaching this point, which is a y value of negative one. So this one has a y value of negative one. Now, what is the limit overall as we approach negative four? From both sides, we get the same value. And remember that tells us the limit exists and it also tells us what the limit is. So the limit does exist because we got the same limit from both sides. So the overall limit, the overall y value we're approaching from both sides is negative one. So what is the actual y value on the function at x equals negative four? That's what this is asking, right? When x is equal to negative four, what is the y value that we get? Well, we get negative one, of course. Let's look at a less well be Looking around the value x equals zero, focusing here on the y-axis, what is the limit as x approaches zero from the left side, from the negative side on the graph? I am approaching on this curvy piece down here, and I approach this hole, and that is a y-value of one. So my limit from the left side is one. If you look at the limit from the positive side of zero, from the right side, then I would be approaching on this line, and that line is actually approaching a y value of positive two. Even though it's not defined at these points, we know exactly what y value we're heading to, these open holes there, and that one is at y equals two. So since we get different limits, from the left side and the right, our one-sided limits are not the same value, then we would say that this overall limit as x approaches zero does not exist. We might say DNE for that, just for short. And then f of zero says, what is the y value when you are exactly on x equals zero? When we are exactly on x equals zero for this function, you'll notice this is an open hole. It's an open dot here. So we're not defined there. This is also a hole, an open dot, so we're not defined here. It turns out if you look above this, you can see we have a filled in dot here. So we are actually defined at a y value of three for the function at x equals zero. So for this top one, even though we approached a y value of positive one from the left, we weren't defined exactly at y equals one there. Same thing here, we approached a y value of two, but at x equals zero, we weren't actually given specifically a y value of two. When we're exactly at x equals zero, our y value, our filled in dot here, is actually at y equals three. Let's do a couple more examples here. So if I'm looking at a new function here, a new f of x, and for these we're focusing on x equals negative four right around there, and you'll notice that we have an open dot here, so we're not defined at this point. But this is saying what's the limit as x approaches negative four from the negative side, from the left side? We approach that hole. That hole, if you look over at the axis, is at a positive value of y equals two, so this limit is two. Here, what about if we approach x equals negative four from the positive side, I'm simply approaching the same hole from the other direction. So since I'm approaching the hole, and that's at a y value of two, this limit is also at two. And so the overall limit, since these are the same, is also going to be two. I approach a y value from both sides, so the overall limit is two. And what about f of negative four? What is the y value exactly at x equals negative four? Well, we're not defined at x equals negative four because we have a hole, we have an open dot there, right? So f of negative four is actually undefined for this one. Okay, let's look at now around x equals negative three. So what is the limit as we approach negative three from the negative side? So here's x equals negative three. From the left side, the negative side, I'm approaching on the horizontal line, I'm approaching this dot here, and that dot is at a y value of two. If I think about from the positive direction, from the right, 
approaching this value. I'd actually be on this curvy piece here, so I'd be approaching this open hole, this open dot, and this open dot is actually at a y value of 4 up here, so this limit is 4. And from the left, I approach a y value of 2. From the right, I approach a y value of 4. And since these are not the same, then that means that this overall limit does not exist. We approach different values from both sides. And what is the y value exactly at x equals negative 3? Well, this is a hole. This is an open dot. And this is a filled in closed dot. So this is the place where we are defined exactly at x equals negative 3. And that is a y value of 2. So our y value exactly, not approaching, but exactly when x equals negative 3 is positive 2. If we look around an x value of 0, so thinking about right around the axis, what about as we approach x equals 0 from the negative side, I would be on the curvy piece of the function. So approaching from this direction up here, I would approach this open hole, and this open hole is at a y value of positive 1. Approaching x equals 0 from the positive side, from the right side, I would be on the flat line approaching this way and I'm approaching this dot at the origin, and the origin has a y value of zero. And then what is the limit in general? Well, we don't approach the same y value from both sides of x equals zero. So our limit here overall does not exist. And then the question, what is the y value exactly at x equals zero? Well, this is an open dot here. It's a hole in the function, so this is not the correct y value. This is the correct y value we're looking for because it's a closed, a filled in dot. And this is a y value of zero. So f of zero here is zero. Looking at one last set of examples here around the value x equals two. So you can see we have one piece going toward two from this side and one piece going toward x equals two from this side. So what is the limit as we approach x equals two from the negative side, from the left side? That would be on the horizontal piece of the graph here, and we're approaching this open hole here, which is at a y value of zero, so this limit is zero. If we approach from the positive side, from the right side, then we're approaching on this sloped diagonal line here. We're approaching this open hole, and this open hole is at a y value of 1. So our limit from the positive direction is 1. Since these one-sided limits are different values, then the overall limit as x approaches 2 on our function does not exist. And what is the y value when x is exactly 2? Well, here I have an open dot, a hole, so it's not defined there. And here I also have an open dot, an open hole. It's not defined there. And there's no other place where it looks like we have a filled in dot above x equals 2. So since we only have empty holes at the value x equals 2, then f of 2 here is actually undefined. Okay, hopefully this gives you some good practice of finding limits from graphs from the left side, from the right side, limits in general, also finding just basic function values as well. Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you in the next video.